I got asked a question the other day in the Instagram DMs, and that is, is lucid dreaming fun, or are lucid dreamings fun? And it's something which I've never really addressed before, because I assumed everyone wanted to do it, and everyone knew that it was fun and kind of wanted to do it. But this question made me think, are they always fun? It's always a good experience, and are there any downsides? So typically, yeah, you know, when you're lucid dream, you're experiencing anything. So you're enjoying situations, you know, you might be flying, teleporting, doing crazy stuff, which, you know, on the surface is really fun. It's exhilarating, it's, you know, emotionally exciting, and it's enjoyable, right? It gives you pleasure. But it made me think that when you do the more profound stuff, and again, most people on this channel are kind of beginners, so I don't know how much of this stuff you've done, but if you've ever used lucid dreaming to really go into your subconscious mind, do any form of like shadow work, any kind of emotional work, then you will know that you can create a situation in your lucid dreams which is not fun in the moment. It's actually quite uncomfortable, unsettling, um, and you know very difficult in the moment when you're experiencing it. It's kind of a an interesting one because most of the time, I would say 95% of people use lucid dreaming to do things that are fun. Flying, teleporting, exploring alien worlds. But when you become more advanced and when you become better at lucid dreaming, you have more of them. And when you have more of them, then you start to use them for things that you know are not going to be fun, but you're fine with that because you're using it for something that is going to help you grow. It's like, I guess, when you go to the gym. Sometimes, if you've been consistent with a workout routine, sometimes you really don't feel like doing it or you, or it's painful physically or it's difficult or really stressful. But you do it anyway because you know that it will help you grow and become someone better. It's kind of similar with lucid dreaming. At first, you're just going to do all the fun stuff. You're just going to fly around, you know, have experiences and do fun things in the dream. But then when you start having, you know, more lucid dreams, when you start having them regularly, every day, every week, then you're going to get to the point where you do things that you know are not going to be fun in the moment, but they will help you grow. Things like shadow work and emotional stuff. But yeah, to answer the question, I mean, obviously this is aimed at beginners, 95% of you will probably not be doing that stuff. And so for that 95%, yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> so yeah, just learn how to do it. I do have a lot of tutorials. You know, if you're asking something like, is lucid dreaming fun? You're probably not a master lucid dreamer, or at least you're not having them regularly. And you probably don't know all the things you can do in them. So if you are completely new to that, I do have a free kind of PDF book that you can download. It's called 100 Things to Do in Lucid Dreams, and I guarantee at least half of them you've never heard about and you've never tried. So if you do want to get that, just go to howtolucid.com slash training, or just, I think the link is in the description down below, so you can just click it there and you can instantly download that PDF. It'll be emailed to you, so you can download it, print it out, whatever you want to do. And leave a comment letting me know what your what the most fun thing is that you've done in Lucid Dream.